I've seen versions online where, you know, you can play, you can splash Shining Sark into Dark Magicians, but I feel like that it's just like Shining Sark way is the best way to play. If you guys want to play Dark Magicians, go ahead and play that peer, right? Like you can't pick both. You can't pick both. You can't pick both.
Was that over the top? Yes. Was it necessary? Also yes. What you just saw was me throwing a bunch of Dark Magician cards into a deck with a Shining Sarcophagus engine and seeing what happens. No bad card was off the table. We're degenerate maxing. And as I'm sure you've noticed, I found some very interesting stuff. And we'll get to it. <gasps> so yeah, these combos are pretty insane. The catch is most of the new combos require three cards most of the time, but don't worry. The usual one and two combos for Shining Sark still work with this kind of build. I'm talking things like the Ties That Bind and the Yasin combo. So let's get into these new Degenerate Dodo combos. It's actually just two main plays with some slight variations and combinations of those two plays. These plays are Dodo Combo 2 and what I like to call Shining Burning Magic. Let's go over Dodo Combo 2 first. Just like the original, it's a three card combo. But what makes this one interesting is that it can be done with almost any three Shining Sark cards, since most of them have some sort of search function. So let's start with Shining Sark, the new DM, and Gondora X. Again, this can be performed with almost any three Shining Sark card, so it doesn't have to be these three specifically. Activate Shining Sark and search for Gadget Trio. Summon it and search for Turn Silence. I know what you're thinking. This card is useless. Not the way I use them. Then summon both Dark Magician, the Magician of Redundant Names, and Gandora. Now use Gandora's effect to pop your monsters. What you summon here depends on how many cards Gandora pops. But in this case, since we pop two, summon your second Redundant Magician. When your original Redundant Magician comes back, set Bond between Teacher and Student. And also be sure to set Stronghold the Hidden Fortress with Gadget Trio's destruction effect. I know, I know. <laughs> you only need to run one of it though, so it's not too big of a deal. From there, activate your set Bond to summon Dark Magician Girl. You can run any of the cards that Bonds would set, but it's not necessary for this combo. We just need that Dark Magician Girl on the board. Next, activate Turn Silence and target your Dark Magician Girl. Go into Myriologic Aggregate. Use his effect to dump Herald. Search for Magician of Chaos or Incantation Chalice Line. Use Myriologic's other effect. Swap the Dark Magician Girl material for the Herald we just dumped it to the grave. Then go into a Link 2. Whichever you go into depends on what else you opened with in your hand or what your opponent might have done up to this point. But for this vanilla version of the combo, I'd recommend Wee Witch. I know most people would probably use Dark or something else, but you'll see why I recommend Wee Witch. Since Herald just hit the grave for a second time, we get to search for a second ritual piece. And now we have the full Dodo combo. Activate Chalice Slime, summon Candle. Search for Inception, activate it. Summon Magician of Chaos. Use Inception's Grave Effect, Tribute Candle, Chain Magician of Chaos to pop Wee Witch. Summon Talismandra. Activate Talismandra's effect and chain Wee Witch's destruction effect. This way, you get to chain block the opponent so that they cannot chain to Talismandra, and you also get any dark monster from your grave back to your hand at the same time. Search for Magician of Black Chaos Max from the deck. End your turn, and on your opponent's draw phase, activate the stronghold we set earlier. This allows us to chain Magician of Chaos to it and pop himself. Use this grave effect to summon Magician of Black Chaos Max from your hand, turning off all of your opponent's monster effects for the turn. Now your opponent basically can't play the game. We got a pretty beefy board, and you've got a plethora of available plays on your next turn with the cards you already have on board. If this combo goes through, you've got the game 99% of the time. I think. And I know, hand traps, but here's the thing. Only downside about his end board plays as a nib, but that's okay. And you know, go big or go home, right? Ladies and gents, you're playing Dark Magicians, bro. Holy smokes. All Dark Magician decks lose to hand traps. So if you're going to lose to them anyway, might as well go for the riskiest plays with the biggest rewards. That way, if you don't get hand trapped, it's almost impossible to lose. Now, with that out of the way, we can talk about Shining Burning Magic. Honestly, I feel that pure Dark Magician decks should focus on this combo. It allows the deck to extend so much further than just the DM triangle. And it just feels more true to what a Dark Magician deck should be. So, while recording this video, Konami just announced a Blue Eyes Link 1 card. That card can make this combo and its variants so much better. But since it was announced after I started working on this video, I'm gonna have to showcase it in a future video instead. So here's the most likely way you'll be doing the Shining Burning Magic combo. This works with almost any two Shining Sark cards and Bond or Magician Salvation or any card that could get us to either of them. Most likely being Soul Servant. As you can see, the reason this is a possible backup combo is because if you're one card short for the Dodo combo 2, then you should have what you need to perform this one instead. 
What you want to do is put Shining Sark on the board along with Redundant Magician and Gondora. If you do this without Gadget Trio somehow and are desperate for this combo, you can set any spell or trap to take a Trio's place. With Gandora's effect, summon Silent Magician. It should be level 6. If not, we could still work with it, but we'll get to that later. Bring back Redundant Magician, Set Salvation, or Bond. Whichever one you don't have. You can also get Stronghold if you pop Trio. Then activate Bond, summon Dark Magician Girl. Use Salvation, Set Eternal Soul. Exceed into Naruto, then exceed into Ebon. Use its effect, Detach DMG, Summon DM, Salvation Triggers, Summon back the DMG you just detached. It should be mentioned that Dark Burning Magic does not work with Redundant Magician. It has to be Vanilla Dark Magician. This is why we brought him out. From here, you have a full board alongside a live Dark Burning Magic, so there's a lot you can do. But here's my favorite play. Leak into Proxy F Magician using DMG and e -bomb. Use Proxy's effect to fuse Gandora and Redundant Magician. We can summon Dragoon or Dragonite. I know that in most cases, Dragoon is the better choice, but for this board, I'd argue that Dragonite is better most of the time. We have a lot of spells and traps set, one of which being a Dark Burning Magic we can turn live at any point, and we could bring back Dragonite with Esol if he does get destroyed. Anyway, from there, you could go into a Link 3 using Redundant Magician and Proxy F Magician. After ending your turn, you can bring back Vanilla DM whenever you want, which will trigger Salvation to bring back DMG, turning Dark Burning Magic online again. You'll also still have Stronghold to protect your monsters from one attack. There's other alternate ways to get this combo out, but as of recording this, we got a new Blue Eyes Link 1 that makes some of the combos I was going to show completely obsolete. So to try and release this video faster, we'll move on to the next and best part in my opinion. What I like most about this kind of build is that you can mix and match all of the different combos together. This really feels like what Dark Magician has been trying to be since the beginning. I don't have a full build with these combos yet because when I discovered them, this Dark Magician wasn't released yet, so I couldn't go into ranked matches to test any of this out. But now it is, so you bet we're going to be trying it out soon.